welcome to another Sundays with Jesse. I actually don't have any coffee with me on hand. Surprise, surprise. But before we get into the coolest file that you need to be 3D printing for this summer, I just want to give you guys a quick update on some of the stuff that I have going on here, and then we'll jump right into that. So first of all, I've got a few new machines here on hand that I have yet to get unboxed, and I will be showing you guys over the upcoming weeks. I think a few weeks ago, I told you guys I had the CR10 Pro. I'm in the process of getting that set up and getting some test prints going. You'll probably see some videos coming on that in the next week or so, and probably ongoing as I continue to use that. Uh, previously, I've been using the Artillery Sidewinder, and that thing is a beast and loving it. I'll be doing a full review on that here again probably in the next week or two but just recently received the snap maker this is a 3d printer cnc machine and uh, engraver as well all in one machine very excited about this it's not huge by any means but it's supposed to be very cool and i've never used a cnc or engraver laser engraver type thing anymore but uh, we'll see what i can figure out what i can do with this the other that you guys will probably be seeing in the next few days here is the monoprice resin 3d printer i picked this up for 200 dollars over on amazon yeah, a little crazy. I'm getting this set up later this evening. I'm gonna get some test prints going on it. Very excited about this. It's a pretty small unit, but for $200 as an entry point into resin 3D printing, crazy. We'll see what it, what kind of results it can produce. I also wanted to give you guys an update or a no update on my Thanos blade. I have literally not touched this since the last video that I put out on this a few weeks ago. I really have to get back to finishing this. I really wanna have this finished and up on the wall. I wanted to have it done by now, easily done by now. I've just been sidetracked with work and other projects and I've got another really cool project that uh, caught my eye immediately thanks to Nico. Thanks, uh, same guy that made these files here that I'm actively working on that you'll be seeing hopefully a video in the next week or so. Man, it sounds like I have a whole lot of videos to produce. <laughs> and as you guys know, I'm really bad about getting some updates out. All right, let's talk about the coolest files. And this is all my opinion. The absolute coolest file that you need to be printing this summer. This right here is a fully retractable and extendable sword that you can 3D print all in one piece. It is wild! It is so freaking cool! These files are created by 3D Printing World and are available for you to download over on Thingiverse. This is his Katana file. I have some plans for this actually that I'll be doing a follow-up video on where I wanna print some additional parts, components to this as sort of a remix of his file. But the idea with this is all you do is you load the file in your 3D printer and you print this all in one place. And then once it's done, it all extends all in one piece. This is nuts. And then you can collapse it back down extend it back out. My kids absolutely love these. And this one here is a little bit stiffer than the one I have upstairs with the kids. Woo. But what's really cool is he has other files available as well. So here is Darth Vader's lightsaber. <laughs> and what's cool about his lightsaber files is you can and what's cool about his lightsaber files is that the parts are in multiple pieces. So here, let me just show you this here. Uh, the lightsaber base, I guess you could call it, is in two parts that you can actually just screw on here. And then the actual blade component, you can print separately. So you can print this in one color here. I printed it in red. I believe this was Ziltec red. And then this is a black Ziltec PLA. And then you can put whatever blade color you wanna print here and then snap it together. The other thing that you can do that he's allowed or that he's made available through these files is each of the blades within the saber here, you could print these individually if you wanted to. So if you wanted to do like a rainbow effect, I believe you could go off and do something like that. I printed these on the CR10 as well as the Raze 3D and printed extremely easily, printed in 0.2 millimeter layer height, I think 10% infill at uh, 60 millimeters per second or whatever that is. This is Luke Skywalker uh, lightsaber as well. This was printed in Filamentum Galaxy, I believe it was, or one of their really awesome gray PLAs. And then this is using the Amazon Basics. It's like a clear green PLA. Again, just absolutely wild how cool and fun these are 
to play around with. I cannot stop messing around with these here in my basement. <laughs> Let me back the camera up so you can get a little bit better view of how these actually extend. <laughs> Too friggin' cool. Yeah, I mean, when these are fully extended, I mean, they're not super long. They're maybe two, two feet long. This green one here, the blade is a little bit longer than uh, Darth Vader's blade. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. But 3D Printing World did an absolutely amazing job on these files, and I really, really recommend you run off and print them. He also has, a, I believe, two different variations that I have not printed yet. I was mostly interested in the Star Wars version as well as the actual katana here. These are just really fun, simple files for you to run off and print. And I believe for the most part, these will print in about one day for all of the components that you need to run them on. And it should fit most 3D printers, which is also really, really cool. You don't need a super huge build volume. I believe this will even fit on an Ender 3, which is great. Uh, again, if you have kids, it's not gonna be the most durable thing in the world, but it's uh, if they play carefully and safely, it should be pretty fun. I mean, this is a huge flashback to me when I was a kid. I grew up with these and being able to print some of these myself, I never would have considered even being able to remotely be able to be possible to do this. It's freaking awesome, really awesome. So if you haven't already, make sure to download these. I'll have files to 3D Printing World's sword links here to on Thingiverse. I'll also have links to his social media. And he also has a YouTube YouTube channel where he's covered actually how he went about making these as well which is very very cool and just a little in-depth overview more so than what I've done here just sort of hyping these up because I think they're so friggin fun and easily one of the coolest things I'm gonna print all summer so definitely check these out I just want to say thanks again for watching you guys if you haven't already subscribe let me know in the comments what you think about these cool swords if you have any other retractable sword ideas let me know down in the comments maybe 3d printing world will see those and run off and make them because I want like every sword that has ever been made in any movie or comic book available in this format. Just super fun to play around with. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Oh, 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 and before I let you guys go, just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been tagging me in their posts over on social media, primarily Instagram. You guys have been just killing it, sharing awesome, awesome projects that you're working on. I'm absolutely loving all those. I'll have a whole bunch of those running through here on screen hopefully i can animate this pretty cool looking where it looks like i'm kind of swiping through those posts i don't know there's probably way too many for me to post here but i just want to say thank you keep tagging me in those uh, i absolutely love seeing what you guys are working on so thanks again